best life. Please welcome Roslyn Kahn. One, two, three, go. Hello, everybody. My name is Roslyn Kahn. We are at Chow Entertainment. We are here at the Virgilius Fashion, and we have Nicole Ho, who's here with us, and she's such a beautiful lady. Tell us, what is the one reason you got involved in the fashion world? Well, I actually entered the fashion world through pageantry. So I was with Virgilia Productions, and I just won Miss Teen Asia USA 2022. Wow, and what is your mission as part of as part of your being the queen? I think as being a queen, um, I represent my country as well as all Asian countries. So I be, I've become an ambassador of culture and goodwill. Oh, that's wonderful. My name is Rosalind Khan. This is called Chow Television, Living Your Best Life with Rosalind Khan. Okay. 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 Thank you, thanks for that. But uh, I am into industry for almost 20 years now. Wow. It's uh, like, uh, this is my almost 21st year. Can you make customers. it louder? Uh, okay. Yeah, I am into the industry from last 20 years. We, I started with my own label that's called as Parvesh J in 2001 and thanks to God and thanks to everyone to all people like you guys who love me so much and the brand is still continuing to grow faster and grow. Oh that is fantastic. If there's one thing that you're looking forward to the next show or the show we're seeing today, what would be the one thing we should focus on? I always focus on like I get a lot of love from the audience and from everyone whosoever watches my collection, find this really loving and really really support us, that kind of thing I want always. Fantastic. My name is Rosalind Khan. My show is called Living Your Best Life with Rosalind Khan. We are every Tuesday on KXLA Show Entertainment. That's where you can follow me. Sure. Can follow you. you can follow me on Parvesh J. B A R V E S H J A I. Fantastic. Well, I know you're going to knock this one out of the park because I saw how hard these people are working in. When I watch you, I see your passion that you have for these girls and the respect that you do. Gratitude beyond words and namaste. Thank you. Hi, this is Russ and Khan with Chow Entertainment. We are here today at this beautiful exhibit, Lemire, with Hiro and Arti Patel. And when you hear the story of this business, your heart is going to melt. Um, one of the events in LA, 
on the April 9th. Uh -huh. It's called a Celebrity Football Event. Oh, wow. And we will be there as well wow, on the April 9th. That sounds fantastic. Well, I can hardly wait to see you there. This is truly a pleasure and an honor. And I know this is just the beginning of many great things. You can follow me on social media. My name is Rosalind Khan. My show is called Living Your Best Life with Rosalind Khan. It comes on every Tuesday at 11 a.m. on KXLA. Shower Entertainment every Tuesday from 11 to 11 30. that maybe we truly can bring peace to this world. My name is Rosalind Khan, I'm with Chow Entertainment. My show is called Living Your Best Life. I help people who are overcoming obstacles to see the other side. If you're interested in being on my show or sponsoring a message just like the one I've given, you know where to find me. Thank you so much and gratitude the Edwards from Moscow. There it is. What do you guys say we, we stop the microphone, we turn tonight on Hollywood Weekly's Grammy viewing party. We're here in Santa Monica, California. My boy Tim's amazing studio venue. If you need a venue, you need to come here, trust me. So what went down tonight is a lot of people networked, a lot of love, a lot of just uh, famousness, shine, and, and dreams coming true, for real. So what I'm working on is I have a platform called the Wall of Fame, the Easy Way Wall of Fame, and we do the same thing we did tonight physically, but we do it digitally. The Easy Way Awards coming up with a lot of your uh, names that you'll recognize that you probably will want to network with. Uh, like people like one of the senior executives of uh, Priceline and, and uh, Omar Perrier, which is one of the founders of LA Fitness. And Bill Duke, from, uh, from uh, he's on Black Lightning right now on Netflix. It goes on and on. So we have a network just like this that wants to put shine on you guys. So the next event coming up, Here's what you do. You text easy way, letter E, letter Z, W A Y, to the number five five six seven eight, and then that will let you know about everything we got going on. We got another event coming up at the Universal Bar and Grill. One of my clients called Expansion helps you expand your brand, and it's called Rhythm in Business. So if you got rhythm and you're about your business, you need to be there. Trust me. Shout out to Lisa and uh, Chow Entertainment, KXLA Television. I'm Eric Zulu with the bright gold jacket. You won't forget me. I'll see you guys real soon. She is the marketing manager, and just recently it was announced she's the co-owner of this. What really brings me the greatest happiness in the world is this lovely lady standing right next to me. She used to be one of my former students in my class at Santa Monica College. And there's nothing that brings me greater happiness than to see students I've taught reach success in this world. So Nicole, as a young lady who's aspired to many and great things, what would you say the one single thing is that made you the success that you are today? 
Thank you so much, Rosalind, for the introduction, and thank you everybody for being here today. Um, I couldn't thank you guys enough. This is honestly like a dream that has become a reality, and I still can't believe it. Um, but I guess life just, it is what you take of it, and right now I'm just taking blessings after blessings, and I am honestly honored and thrilled and humbled by the amount of people that showed up today and the amount of support and love that I'm getting from each and every one of you guys. And I, I truly hope that what you take from today will be something that you'll remember forever for as long as you live. And I hope that um, our relationship will continue. Um, it's just the first day you're coming to the wall. I hope you'll continue to come back and stop. And thank you, Rosalind, for being my teacher and for teaching me so many skills that honestly, without you, I don't think I would be Thank you for your interest in In Flight USA and our newest publication, BizAvJets USA. We serve general and business aviation throughout the U.S. For more information on submitting articles or advertising in our publications, visit inflightusa.com. Thank you. BizAvJets USA magazine is a new publication to the business aviation industry. And business aviation is a growing and thriving industry. We plan to bring you all the latest trends and news. We also plan to bring you new information about new airframes, systems, and interiors to market. Feel free to visit bizavjetsusa.com. Senior Care Authority is a one-stop solution for helping you locate senior living options. We understand the care, the costs and the safety records of hundreds of communities, from assisted living and memory care to independent living and even skilled nursing. We help families cut through the complexity to make courageous, informed decisions under difficult circumstances. Alzheimer's, and I remember we were all in the hospital room, and for like 10 seconds, she recognized who we were, and then it was gone. So it's like a thief, it's taking away memories. Um, who you are as a person. Over five and a half million Americans have Alzheimer's. That number may double by 2050. For more information, visit rightfocus.org. Hey, are you looking to get blinged out? Well, look no further. Boss Lady Bling Blingy have all the bling you need. You can find us online at Lady Blingy 4 on IG or Lady Blingy on Facebook or www.BossLadyBlingBlingy here in sunny San Diego at 2031 Commercial Street, San Diego, California. Call us at 619-617-4586. Good morning, this is Dave DeSmit. I'm with Banner Printing Company. Uh, we're a printing brokerage. We produce, provide books, letterheads, envelopes, laser checks, accounts payable or payroll. And we provide uh, Promotional products, things like jackets, shirts with your logo on it, signs for the sides of trucks, and banners uh, of any kind. Good morning. Welcome to Living Your Best Life with Rosalind Khan. Today we have a very special special, special guest. I'd like to introduce you to Mike Trudell from Orbic Helicopters. Thank you. You're not being recertified. You know, uh, you, you just can't, you just can't fly unless you pass a review. Right, so right, right. So the FAA is very, very careful not to call it a recertification. Other countries in the world, they, they do call it recertification. Right. Where your license actually expires. Well, your license doesn't expire in the US. It never does. You know, it's just that if you want to go ahead and continue to fly, though, you, know, you have to get a review and be signed off by an instructor. So it's, exactly. it's somewhat, somewhat informal. Yeah, because I know my husband has to go do that every right. once in a while or right. every six months or whatever. He's yeah. got to you know, schedule a meeting where the two of them go up and they yep. do the process and show yep. that he knows what's going on and exactly. what's happening. Exactly. And it's uh, it's not pass-fail. It's just it's more like pass no pass, you know. It's, right. It's kind of an interesting uh, way it's done, uh, but you know, you have to get it. You know, you have to get it done, of course. And uh, uh, but you know, let's let's say if somebody adds a rating, okay, mm -hmm. you're an airplane pilot, and they want to add a gyro rating, a helicopter rating, a glider rating, you know, a multi-engine rating, a seaplane rating, then you get to uh, 
uh, you don't need to do the review because that new rating counts as a review, which is kind of nice. That's so, cool. Yeah, that's so, cool. So. But gyros, because they're anything that's got a rotor blade on it, it's it's a different uh, it's a it's a different process. It's uh, a different way of understanding how aircraft fly, mm -hmm. and um, and uh, in some ways it does take. Um, you, you, you just can't make any assumptions on right. uh, on uh, what makes it fly. So you know they handle very very similar. You know when you're straight and low of flight because they do. Even a helicopter. You know the first hour I can take any you know airplane pilot and they can do straight and low of flight turns, climbs and descents in a helicopter. You know pretty much unassisted right. for the first flight. But it takes a long time to uh, fill in all those other things that take off landing and helicopters hovering. In gyros, it's uh, simpler because gyro can't hover. Right. Okay. So if the gyro can't hover, uh, then uh, 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 but the right now as it is right now with uh, the rotor blade stationary, it can't fly until right. it has until the blades spin. Right. So that's the trick. And uh, so right now, as these things sit, right. these things are largely overpowered uh, tricycles. Oh wow. So, you know, they, they won't fly at all until you get rotor RPM. And you have to have enough rotor RPM in order to go ahead and fly. Right. So we like to say here that uh, you need rotor RPM to fly, and then you need to build airspeed after liftoff to climb. And you always need to keep the gyro on a 1G environment, which means that, uh, you know, you're not <coughs> horsing around with the gyro uh, getting into uh, low G in order to go ahead and live. <laughs> right, so, of course, of course, okay. of course. And what country do they originally come from? Well, this particular model originates in Italy. Okay. But uh, the uh, the other uh, manufacturers, uh, like for example, Autogyro is based in uh, Germany. Oh, okay? wow. Uh, the Autogyro is actually an older uh, design compared to a helicopter. It's been around uh, almost 20 years uh, before the helicopter was perfected. Right. And uh, the purpose of uh, the uh, uh, of the Autogyro uh, back in uh, 1923 was not to try to solve mysteries of uh, helicopters. It was really to make essentially a stall-proof airplane. Oh wow! You know that was really the the point of the thing. And uh, but its invention gathered the notice of helicopter people, and they started looking at the Autogyro as an evolutionary step. So when the helicopter finally did get perfected in the uh, you know late 30s and early 40s, mostly in the 40s, uh, then the interest in the autogyro pretty much disappeared. Except for the 50s, it was resurrected again by Igor Benson, that kind of born the sport gyroplane configuration involving a pusher propeller and a short coupled tail. Uh, but you know they suffer from inherent stability issues, uh, which uh, you know if you're a test pilot, you kind of understand that. But if you're you know weekend Flyer it had a terrible accident history. So, right. so the uh, uh, so the Italians uh, who also were uh, 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 very very uh, aware of this uh, aspect took the existing old Benson designs from the 50s and essentially refined them with a you know with a nice stabilizing surface in the tail and right. kind of you know made it really really pretty with the uh, with the proper enclosures and all that uh, mm -hmm. on the on the fuselage. Right. And uh, turned the thing into a nice cruiser. So. No, it looks it looks very nice. So. And how often do you get these up and get them out there? Um, well, I'm I'm flying these things at least once a week. Uh, oftentimes, I'm flying them a couple, uh, two or three times a week. But I have to balance that with uh, my uh, my normal corporate uh, aviation job. Okay. And is that for the training that, that you do? No, it's half is training, half is personal. Oh, that's I mean, wonderful. I'll take it. I'll take it out. You know, cause, uh, cause and like just, you take your old favorite car out, you take your gyro out and just yeah, go for a exactly. spin. Yeah, exactly. That's wonderful. So, the uh, let's go ahead and take a look over here. Okay. So the M16, this model has been around uh, actually since uh, uh, the uh, mid to late 90s. Uh, uh -huh. So it's uh, it's actually a very very uh, refined design. It's also the long, longest running design that uh, Magni has produced. So uh, they've uh, they've sold tons and tons of these things. Right. So, but of course the market was always asking about, hey, we need to get a side-by-side -side enclosed model. And right. They messed around with this one for development for, you know, for a while in order to go ahead and uh, get the machine to, uh, uh, to perform, you know, uh, uh, correctly. And so in 2005, that was introduced. So, wow. So, but wow. this is the motorcycle of the year. 
Okay. So, so this is the sporty one. It's a little bit faster. Uh, they fly very, very similar. Uh, so, but uh, this is the sporty one. When you sit in the front, you know, you got this great big windshield over here. Right. It's covered with bugs right now, but because uh, I just flew it back from, uh, from Santa Maria a couple of years ago. Oh, okay. And. Um, uh, so I had to clean it, but uh, uh, but when you're sitting here, this big windshield basically blocks all the wind or something like that. You're sitting right. there; it's it's very very comfortable. We have uh, you know we have refined helmets with an intercom, so we can talk back and forth. Wonderful. And, and Wonderful. Uh, you know it uh, the the, the uh, communications. If you ever been in most open cockpit airplanes, uh, sometimes the communications are very very sketchy, right? They're very dicey because there's a lot of wind noise and oh, what, what what did you say? You say exactly. And, you know, but you know, we 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 spent a lot of time uh, getting the communications right on this machine. So, and uh, of course, you know, it's it's got everything we need to go ahead and fly in all the airspace. It flies uh, into you know LA all the time. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, got uh, you know mostly transponder and ADS-B in and out. So I can get my right. traffic and I can go ahead and fly pretty much anywhere I want. You know, so uh, I I'm a commercial gyroplane rated pilot. So uh, I'm I'm not restricted like a sport pilot but uh yeah you know, a sport pilot doesn't have much of the way restrictions either you know right uh the sport pilot really the only meaningful restriction that they have if they're if they already have a uh, uh, a uh, they already a private pilot you know in an airplane or something like that uh, the only real restrictions they have is no flying at night right 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 so, but uh, if they're just purely a sport pilot, you know, they started as a sport pilot, they don't have a private pilot license or anything else. Okay, well, now you have to have additional uh, additional uh, training and authorizations to go ahead and fly into airspace that communicates right. with air traffic control. So, on the, uh, on the M24, the seats are arranged in a side-by-side -side staggered uh, configuration, so the passenger who sits in the right seat is actually a little further back, so there's... Uh, uh, so it, you know, you're not touching shoulders to each other. So it's, you oh, know, it good. actually is a little bit of a trick to get a little more room. Oh wow! So, you know, so by broadening the, uh, and still not making the fuselage so fat that uh, you uh, you wind up suffering performance. So, but uh, this one's kind of uh, is 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 uh, average equipped. You know, so I, I didn't go out of my way to you know make it super top of the line deluxe. This one's this one's much more deluxe. Right. You know, this one's a little bit more basic. Right. So, when you uh, say, you know, someone who doesn't fly planes, when you say this is deluxe and this one's basic, what does this one have that that one doesn't have? Well, I mean, I have, um, uh, we we have essentially the same equipment, uh, I think. Uh, the uh, the equipment that we have over here, mm -hmm. there's, uh, is essentially the same equipment. And, uh, but there, because the panel space is a little bit bigger, you can actually put in integrated flight uh, displays where you really can't do an integrated flight display right, right. very well in this one. Right. Right. I also, you know, uh, the, the extra things that I spent were for the rear seat because me being the instructor, I want to have controls and stuff in the back. Of course. Uh, whereas of course. like the stock doesn't have anything. So right. I, I, added, I added that stuff because being an instructor, I wanted to. No, no, that's awesome. So it's awesome. But, uh, uh, so there's, you know, there's an integrated uh, uh, display panel option, of course, you can get from, uh, you know, from the manufacturer uh, right. as an option. But, you know, so, you know, for me, you know, a gyro is, uh, you know, it's about simplicity. And, uh, and uh, you know, I, I just try to uh, approach it that way all the time, where it's like, uh, yeah, we, we want to have, you know, an complex life and everything that way you kind of want to have some simple pleasures right exactly so, exactly so. No, that's awesome that's awesome but uh it's all pretty fair and everything like that you know the, the amount of uh you know uh fairing and coverings on it really uh do you know make the thing look very very sharp so so this is probably the one you want to get the ride in yeah that one okay that cool so okay okay so let me see how much fuel is in it so turn around and uh, put uh, sit down here. I'm going to help on the
can see the slots. Go ahead and hold that, uh, hold that, uh, hold that buckle up. Hold the, the round part. There you go. Okay, so and uh, so we'll you just kind of tighten those up a little bit so they're you know snug. So okay. same thing on the other side. Just raise that part a little bit. Pull. So that's snug. There you go. Good. There. Okay, great. Perfect. So uh, we'll make sure this uh, watch I hold on that so it doesn't uh, so it doesn't flap out the breeze when I close the door. So the door handle here is this one here. Okay. So you, you, when I close it, that handle is going to move forward. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. All right. So that's closed. Nurse Actors Staffing is seeking experienced RN and LVNs. For more information, call us at 818-697-4484 or check us out on our website, nurseaccessstaffing.com.